Morning everybody, back again. So today is Australia Day and you know the drill if you've been following along for exactly one year, well a little bit longer because this video won't come out on Australia Day, but um, Australia, Tra Australia Day tradition, Yabian. So we're currently down here at the Abbey Dam, got, got five nets with lamb chops. Has to be lamb chops on Australia Day because everybody knows so we're doing straight day cook lamb chops as uh, Sam Kegovich says. So we're gonna chuck these nets out in the dam, try and catch us a feed at Yabby's. We also got a few other little jobs we'll get done in between. But uh yeah, so let's get these nets in. Alright, so all the nets are in. We'll let them sit for a few hours. Oh, a few hours, a couple hours. And uh, we'll come back a little bit later on and see if we got anything good in there. Also, just so you know, it's 34 today, and as I always say, the yabs like it hot. Got to be a hot day. I'll come out to play. We'll go about our business now. Alright, so first thing we're looking at is Mum's horse truck. We're just here next to it now. So when we looked at it a couple of months back, noticed there was an air leak when foot was on the brake. So I <clears throat> got a rough idea of what I think it might be, but we're just gonna verify because we had to start it up last week to build up air, but the batteries are dead, so dad had the batteries charging. So what I think well I think the problem is is this uh brake booster because it's air uh air over hydraulic, so these boosters here, two of them take air pressure and convert it into hydraulic pressure. So there's brake fluid here, runs down into these cylinders here. And then these parts are the air operated side. So um, air pressure push onto them pistons that are in there. And then that's how you get your brake pressure being hydraulic. So I think that this one has got an air leak through like the diaphragm or whatever's in there. I can't quite think. Uh, exactly how it's been set up, but I think there's a rubber diaphragm and I reckon it's probably got a crack in it Leaking air out through the little exhaust vent on the top So I'll chuck my hand on there and we'll see whether or not it leaks Alright, so I'll just chuck my hand on the brake. Hopefully there's enough air pressure in there because I've got the keys to start it So you can hear it leaking air there just at the moment, it's almost out Yeah, so it's leaking out the little exhaust vent on the top. Um, so yeah, I reckon there's a cracked diaphragm or whatever's in there, the rubber seal. Um, <clears throat> that's letting the air go past. So yeah, I have to organize a new one of those. It's not a big deal, but yeah, it's a pretty easy way, the easiest way to check if you see your needle on your gauge going down when your foot's on the brake, build up maximum air pressure on your truck, turn it off, get someone to put their foot on the brake or hand on the brake or whatever and just have a listen for where an air leak is coming from <clears throat> and uh, generally you can find it pretty easy so that's what that that's where the leak is on this one but sometimes it could be your brake boosters down the back if it's a full air um, truck system so yeah I'll get organized a new boost for that and we'll chuck a new one in Rightio so next little job not going to do too much today because it's a warm one um, we're over here at the uh, International 1.6 plough so because we're using it this year, I want to pull this ram off here because as you can see, uh, not very much chrome left on it. So she doesn't really hold pressure. So it's been like that for some years, like a few years now, um, but it, it, it always held pressure and it wasn't until we actually had to put some, move it one day, it's obviously torn the seals out of it. So now it doesn't really hold the pressure that it's meant to. And the whole point of that ram is that this rear um, arm here with the two trailing wheels there will pivot so you can change the angle of the plough so that needs to really work um, or it can sort of just flop around I guess so <clears throat> gonna rip that off and um, we'll try and get a new one 
So hopefully it's not too bad. There's nothing holding this pin in, but I reckon she might be pretty seized. There's no um, arc clip or whatever you call them. This one shouldn't be too bad, it's loose. So we'll try and get it off and um, see how we go. Oh, yeah. That one wasn't too bad at least. Come out alright. I'll undo these hoses first. Easy as that. Easier than I thought it was going to be anyway. Yeah, you can see she's a little bit flogged out in that hole. That one, not so much. Shouldn't really matter though, so. That was a, um, a little modification that Dad put on there. So I think what he's told me once before is that when these plows originally come out, they never had a ram. Um, I think it was just an adjustable rod or it just locked. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but basically, yeah, he thought that was a bit painful having to deal with that. So he built all this extra bracketry on there so that he could put a ram on and then ran some hoses so he can sit from the cab and just, yeah, control it from the cab. So. Um, yeah, there's a little mod he did, and then he added these extra weights as well at the back. So I think these are actually meant to be wheel weights off the 135, I think. I could be wrong. But, um, yeah, so I got that ram off pretty easy. So I'll take that into town and get a new one, I reckon. Dad was talking about keeping that one for some reason, but, uh, yeah, she ain't gonna work. So, yeah, we'll, uh, take these hoses up, and I think we've got to give Dad a hand with one little job over at the workshop, and then... The rest of the day is leisure and yabbying. Alrighty, so back up at the yabby dam. It's been about an hour and a half, so drag these nets in, see what we got. Hopefully, there's a few. Uh, if we don't, if we're not going to get too many, I don't think I'll persist throughout the day because um, it's sort of just a waste, really. If you only get a handful, there's no point cooking them up. So hopefully, we'll get quite a few, and then if we get like nothing, we'll not pack it in. So we'll see what happens, though. Well, any yabs we did have in there, we might have lost a few because she uh, tipped up on its top. But as you can see, there's a few in there. A few good ones, actually. That's pretty good. That's a pretty decent size. That's a little what we're aiming for, anyway. Good one. They're all like that, you'd have heaps. Well, you'd have a decent fear anyway.
Look at all that. Hey, shit, lads. Decent size. Oh, you rip it. Better than last year, that's for sure. Oh, we definitely got a feed on our hands, I reckon, with the size of these ones we're dragging in. If we keep pulling them in like that, we'll be having a bloody good old feast. Got a pretty good start from just one round anyway. Some really good size ones in there, better than last year I reckon. So yeah, we'll come back again in an hour or so and check again. Righty, -o, so we've been out a few times today. Um, this is the last time we're gonna come out. We're gonna go around, collect all the nets, and we'll uh, bring them all up to the house, <coughs> start cleaning them up. I'll show you what we ended up getting for the day. But uh, yeah, we've got a pretty decent haul, I think, better than last year I reckon. Um, yeah, so we'll quickly run around, grab all these nets, and then, um, yeah, we'll go back up to the house. All right, so we've just brought the tub of yabbies back up to the house, so we'll drain all this dam water out, and um, we'll give them a clean up with just some fresh, well, not fresh water, but town water, and uh, we'll see what we got.
there we go. So I reckon it's probably a better haul than last year. Alrighty, so we're just up in the kitchen now. Yes, this is another cooking with camshaft type arrangement. Got on the salt. So, <clears throat> got the yabbies in the basin and the laundry. Just give them another rinse in water. Wash any dirt and crap off them. And chuck them in a boiling pot of, pot of boiling water. Not a boiling pot of pot. And um, yeah, we'll put a heap of salt in there as well. <clears throat> and then boil them up until probably that's about five minutes or so till they go orange. Um, if you saw the video last year, you'll know. Or if you've cooked yabbies yourself, you'll know. Um, yeah, so we'll chuck them in there, cook them up until they're orange, uh, let them cool for a little bit, and then do the pain in the ass job of peeling them. So yeah, I'll be back at cheers in a minute. Alrighty, yeah, so I was just in the kitchen starting to peel them yabbies. I finished cooking them and dad was on the blower telling me there's a real big electrical storm coming. We were meant to be having thunderstorms today, a bit of thunder just but then. So we'll chuck the drone up. Hopefully she don't get blown out of the sky. And uh, see what we can see. Yeah, so stuck the drone up. There's a bit of light in them then. Uh, I don't know how well, well, the drone wasn't handling it very well. The wind was blowing all over the joint, but uh, as you can see, yeah, she's pretty dark. So, not like we haven't seen a storm before, so we'll go back inside and get these yabbies peeled. <laughs>
they're cooked up now. It's a fair feed, probably the most I reckon we've ever had. Um, that I can remember anyway. You ever caught more than that? Hey. It's probably talking bullshit, but uh, yeah. So that's it. Got a bit of vinegar on them, we'll put some salt on them, and then we'll uh, dig into it. There's plenty there, so it should be all right. And I know you're just making up a sauce for it as well, with a bit of mayo, tomato sauce, and Worcestershire sauce. So yeah, we'll tuck in. Look at that. Natural, natural food, living off the land. Can't go wrong. There you go. Lamb, lamb chops cooking in the buddy fry pan. Welcome to Australia Day. Yep, so hopefully everybody had a good Australia Day and uh, didn't get too burned or too pissed. So anyway, we'll wrap her up. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll catch you in the next one. All right.